welcome back to, well, not welcome back, but welcome to Cave Blazers. This is a game that is made by Rupik Games and is released by the Yogscast. Now I went on a, a, a nice site which allows me to get a nice key for this game and review it and see what it's like and play it through on YouTube for you guys basically and see what I think it is and give my views on this game. Now, first of all, this game is something that is recommended I play on the controller. I'm a dumb fuck and I cannot find my controller, so I am going to be using my trusty mouse. So, what do I know about this game? Well, not too much. It's basically a pixelated game where I have my character. It's a level-based platformer game where I have a bunch of different bosses to kill. I can get items and progress along the way and it gets exponentially harder. Uh, there are bosses on each level as far as I know. We can collect items and different perks each time we die, along with this leaderboard, which we can obviously try and get. And I'd imagine 20,000 is pretty fucking high. Challenges. There's a bunch of challenges, which I guess are a bit like a quest. As you can see here, kill 50 enemies using an orcish battle axe. Discover three bad potions in a row. Discover five good potions in a row. And defeat a boss in under a minute. Okay. So, let's just go straight into it. I mean, there's nothing that can be too challenging for this, I guess? That looks like our character. Legend spoke of this place. A remote cave which is said to hold Im unimaginable power. Some say the cave leads to a better life, whilst others insist you will find nothing but death. It's going to be the latter with me. I can, I can, I can assure you guys that it's going to be death. What truly lies within these cave walls? Question mark. Use A and D to move. Spacebar to jump. Okay. So that's the problem with the keyboard, is obviously every time I hit the space bar, it's going to be uh, interesting. Okay, so we can hit tab to pick up our inventory. So we've got our weapons tab. I don't know what these ones are. I guess our character and maybe some shield. And we can pick our ranged weapon, staff, sword, and what looks like some rings here. And I guess this gives us a bit of more info. And as you can see at the top, we also have a hotbar 1 to 0. Uh, e to pick up items. Now, that must mean we've got a... Okay, who's this guy? Ah, another adventurer. And what brings you here, kid? Rumours of unimaginable power. Well, yes, I suppose so. Hundreds of adventures have come here, seeking fame, fortune and power. I think that's a fortune. None survive. So what makes you different? Well, for a start, I am the one and only Pete Bush. Um, right control to melee attack. Okay, oh, right control. Okay, so it's a, it's a game that I shouldn't use my mouse. I'm going to move my mouse away. You know, use your arrow keys to fire your ranged weapon. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Okay. Okay, so... Alright, that's understandable. So, can I move... Okay, I can. Awesome. E, what's this? Okay, that's the only thing I actually can go into. So let's go in. Caves, level one. Okay, there's one guy up there. Hey, down there. I need your help. Oh, okay, get up here, fella. I can do that. It looks like there's a couple of slimes, so we can go over there. And, ooh, do we need to... Oh, yes, I, do. I I can see them. I'd rather you didn't talk to me so I can actually deal with them. Yes, I can. But there we look at that. I'm a quick scoping god. Is this one going to get caught? He's not. Oh, look at that. There we are. Killed him. What? So I was stood on a straight platform there. Oh, he wanted to run that way, I was going to say. Hey, listen. Found these boots. They're a little large for me. Well, I'm only size 10, so I don't know about you, but <laughs> they're probably not going to fit me. Uh, it's what you do with it. Haha. <laughs> well, no, I'm good in the size department. Thank you. Let's just let's stick together. Okay. Okay, so my health bar's at the top left, and as you can see, I have uh, what well, that looks like no gold. We've got ether boots. Uh, or charged. When charged, press Q to use magic items, equip items through your inventory. So, what we got here? Ooh. We have a red apple, which you can eat to regain 20 health. Okay, we still don't need on that. Uh, throwable bombs. 
And ether boots. Um, increase your movement speed for three seconds. Okay, that's nice. Okay. We can... Ooh, let's... Uh, there's a guy over there. Yeah, we get him. Uh, is there anything up here we should be getting? Nice, we've got that one. What's this? Looks like something I should uh, knock. Did I get anything from that? No, I didn't. Okay. Let's continue down here. I'm assuming we can go like that. Bless of lightning. Okay. Now, it looks like there's going to be a couple of things down here. Oh, shit. I didn't realise that was something I should be killing. But I killed it anyway. Okay, so we got Blessing of the Ballista. Or Blessing of Lightning. And I'm assuming there's going to be an maybe another one we can pick. Okay, let's go up here. Nice. Anything this way? No. Okay. Are these giving us money? Yeah, we've got 17 gold. So, do we go for the blessed blessing of lightning, or do we go for this one, Ballista? I think I'm going to go for this one. Don't know what it gives us. Occasionally larger arrows, more powerful arrows. Okay. What's this one do? Occasionally zap nearby enemies. Okay, so my arrows are going to occasionally be better. Uh, does this do anything? Is it like a Mario thing? Okay, what's up here? It looks like a... Whoa. Oh, I'm down there. Okay. Nice, I zapped him. Battle brew. Now, I want to get up here because there's a... Whoop. Bit of a faff, isn't it? Spiked stick. Okay. A spiked stick. Has my friend died? I think we let him die while we went and... Fucking hell, no. Come on. Ah. Okay, this is... I can see why you'd, you'd want a controller for this. It, it becomes quite difficult. Okay, so that goes 3 to 7 speed of medium. 9 to 11. Okay, so the sword's actually better. Oh, well. Some blood dripping from the ceiling there. Let's just give an arcane box. Can I do anything to that? Let's have a look. Um, it contains a random item. Okay. What we got? Oh! What was it? Oh, okay. I, I guess it was just some damage dealing item. We need to jump over those spikes. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's a battle axe. Oh, let's have a look at that. that that's much better. Plus a extra ring slot. Awesome. Okay, let's drop down and... Oh, let's go up and get this thing. Oh, some money. Awesome. Okay. Now, this is also going to be a series where it's just not going to be edited. I mean, however long I last. It's uh, Now, I've never been a massive fan of these kind of games. Um, and when I say these kind of games, I'm talking about... Um, you know, the kind of 8-bit, old-fashioned style games. This is not to say that I wouldn't enjoy playing them. I've just... You know, never been someone that's played them. Uh, but I feel that we can enjoy this quite a lot. Oh, we hit him for 20. Nice. Okay, so we do need to watch our health. We're getting a bit low. Take that guy out there with a nice shot, actually. What is that? I guess it looks like a dead body. And there's just a couple more loot thingies over here we can go to make sure we have the big buck. Okay, let's go back down here. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. We did take a bit more damage, so let's quickly go ahead and eat. Eat the apple. We're back up to 67 health. And hopefully we don't have to um, fight anything more. Okay, there's... Can I do this? Oh, I can. Haha. <laughs> I can shoot down. That's awesome. My bow randomly goes that colour. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, I can pop them off. Oh, okay. There was something over there. So, th oh, I didn't realise. I forgot I could jump down on these platforms. Okay, so there's some sort of exploding bomb things we need to watch out for. 
lot of chests nearby. Oh, there's another little blue gem there. Go back over here and get this one. Now, I believe these dungeons are completely procedurally generated, which is awesome. Um, so each dungeon is going to be nice and different for us, and as we say, get progressively harder. And hopefully, hopefully we are going to get progressively better. Oh shit. Oh no, he got a few hits on us. What's over there? Okay, let's go. I want to go and have a look at that. Okay, I think it's in order to... Great. Okay, so we need to work our way back up. And I think but in order to do that, we're going to need to get back over here. Nope, okay. How are we going to do this? Ooh, come on. It's really a bit of an annoying... Okay, so how are we going to get over there? Okay, come on, come on. Can I... How do I get over there? Ooh, do I... I might have to pass for now. Must be a way over there, though. Okay. Let's just pop these guys so when they jump up... He's going to try and jump out in a second. And... There we are. So, I don't know what that thing was up there, but it, it's annoying me because it looked like a couple of uh, things where we might get a choice. Oh, shit. Am I dead? I'm dead. Game over. Okay, so we can actually have a look at what we get from this. Uh, a walrus mask. Um, so yeah, as we know, this has been released by the Oxcar, so there's going to be a couple of easter eggs in there in regards to them. Looks like we can daily run. Let's go and have a look at our daily run. 